British educational training and technology. 100 education technology startups, 850 education companies, 35,000 guests. By far the largest education technology conference in the world. And it happens in London every year. This is where a lot of the technology that you're going to see in schools uh, is going to be shown. And so I'm hoping to kind of bring you through this whole experience like of what, what this industry is like. arrived in London, and beside me was, um, I just found another education YouTuber. Yeah, uh, my name is Abu Bakr Idris. Uh, my YouTube channel is uh, Prof G, Prof P R O F F F G. Yeah. And it's focused on education. Most of my videos, I would say around 80% of them are in Arabic. 20% of my videos are in English. Yeah. And I talk about uh, scholarships, applying to universities, uh, uh, admission, student visa, and all these topics that interest international students. It's a YouTube event called Creators for Change. Yeah. Uh, it's a it's a five day summit organized by YouTube. In total, we are 100 YouTubers from around the planet. I was really lucky um, to be able to meet a fellow YouTuber. Uh, this is like an educational YouTuber uh, from Victoria, from Canada. Here it is. Welcome to BET. Welcome to BET. <laughs> oh. oh, that's cool. Wow. This, this conference has registration partners. So today for lunch, it's katsudon curry and orange tango. I don't think I've ever had orange tango before. The BET show is probably about an or order of magnitude, about 10 times bigger than the biggest conference, the biggest academic conference that I've ever attended. Hashtag, here now might be a good time to start working on my uh, talk. Every time I've been in London, it's always been a little bit rainy. for dinner like every night at the conference. Hey, 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 how's it going? <laughs> Lebanese. <laughs> oh, Mustard. Well, this looks legit. <laughs> All right, first day of oh. mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the show floor of BET and I wanted to talk a little bit about what are some of the things that I typically look for. So with technology, we're often looking at specs. When it comes to educational technology, we're looking at how the technology enables creativity, new forms of expression uh, those, those tools provide. Technology. Um, that really enable and inspire. So I'm here at the Bet Futures area with Ross McGill. Yes. Uh, you know. may remember him from a previous video. I'm just working the Bet Futures stage, all the innovation, all the startups. I've seen loads of exciting brand new ideas, mm -hmm. uh, a few familiar faces, uh, so, and it's just a brilliant show. So what was the what's the biggest the surprise biggest that you... Vocal recall just there. Yeah. So for teachers, it's okay. where they can speak to their phone that generates a QR code. The teacher then sticks it in the kid's book and the kids can listen to the uh, specific feedback. What makes that technology good for education? It's got to work for teachers. Teachers are really busy. So if you're asking teachers mm -hmm. to collect 10 entries of data for one child, times 30, that's already 300. 
um, yep. just for one class. And if you teach 10 classes a week, it's, it's what I can do about Moss and Maths now. It's, it's, it's like the ca- scale, right? The scale. Like, Follow yeah. Teacher Toolkit, teachertoolkit.co.uk, yes. and on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all the channels. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much, Ross. I'm here at the Ed Lounge booth. Uh, and I'm here with Michael. Yes, I really like the name, by the way, because I have a series called Ed, the EdTech Lounge. Wow. Well, okay. uh, and I figured, you know, I should get to know you guys. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, certainly. An online um, virtual learning platform that supports a, a number of schools across the UK. Ed Lounge is a, uh, a 2018 BET finalist yes. for, uh, I think it, it, the, its category is International Relations. Yeah, that's it. And we've worked, uh, we'll be the Congratulations. Fi- Thank you. That's we'll be huge. the finalist for the last three years as well. How did you come up with the name Ed Lounge? We wanted it to have more of a relaxed approach and take the formal side of it out of education so it were more appealing to young people. And I love the, the, the name. It's very fun and everything, so thank you so much. Really thank you. Appreciate- I'm here at the Clever Touch booth with Sue, and Sue's been a, t- a teacher for quite some time. What makes a technology good for education? Yeah, as a teacher, I've got to uh, foster critical thinking, collaboration, communication skills, mm-hmm. problem solving. Can they be creative with it? If they can't be creative and express with it, then it's not really going to help them. I think Hmm. all children are natural storytellers, so you give them a device and say, go make a movie, tell a story, and share it in different ways, work with your friends, and use different media. Thank you so much, Sue. (laughs) Active Floor allowed students to answer questions with their feet. Vernier has wireless sensors that measure oxygen, temperature, pH, voltage, and much more. Wonder Workshop Q is a robot programmable with Google Blockly and commands are sent wirelessly. Minecraft Education announced a new chemistry update for their popular game. Rapid Education was showcasing their programmable Now and Pepper robots. They also had a robot that could play dodgeball. The Mind Robot series provide a hardware and electronics kit for creating unique bots that can sort objects that it picks up. It uses the Google Blockly visual programming language. Humanoid programmable robot. Oh, the Bet Arena. Everybody's hanging out, doing the... The Moscow Department of Education was showing a 3D body scanner that used depth cameras to capture a 3D model of a person. Fab Lab Factory was showcasing their steam machine, a bookable makerspace, and an RV that would come to your school. Some of the students had made a giant Game Boy that you could play the old school version of Tetris. Steam Village, uh, science, technology, engineering, art, and math village, uh, sponsored, I guess it's by PyTop. For 320 includes a inventor's kit, LEDs, and sensors for their laptop. Robot Pi Kit uses Raspberry Pi to control the arms and movement of a robotic face. Arduino Education was showing a robot that could write on a whiteboard with two colors. Dobot was showing a programmable robotic arm with different grip options. Anomalies Activolve skills training can be tailored to different ages and abilities. Customized Excel workbooks to control Arduino sensors. Sam Lab software doesn't require any wires. Now Class Play showed a wireless storytelling headset. I am listening to a lesson about slavery. It's like it's like a story that they're reading. Acer used a vision processing tool to identify objects using the camera in real time. And they also introduced Cloud Professor Internet of Things Kit for $300. Now, I'm here with our partners, AvaVision. They've got a tabletop here. You can, uh, you can kind of see it uh, on this side. They're using the uh, Snowflake multi g software. We like the software because uh, it can be played with many different numbers of students. Lessons of application, it gives mm-hmm. more freedom to make their own class. Right? For the games, it is good for the free time and also for the commercial use. I like the uh, industrial design of this. Well, thank you guys very much. Really appreciate having thank you guys. Doctor. Yes, thank you. Clever Touch engaged kids with the Snowflake Multi Teach Suite. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified when new videos come out, click the bell.